Welcome to Boys, Girls, Dogs, and Cats, and welcome back to Calm Down, Level Up. Now that there is actually proof that I am the reincarnation of Nostradamus, I would like to put my final bet into one country, and um, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finally decide which of these countries I am actually betting on. I'm betting money on. And that country is going to have to be either Pomerania, Benelux, or Guangdong. Two honorable mentions are going to be Kostamanu and Stravropol, but in my opinion, one of these three are going to win. Now using my Nostradamus powers, I predict, I predict that Guangdong will be the winner. And because I am Nostradamus, I think that this video deserves a thousand likes. <laughs> so make sure you all hit like really quick, I would really appreciate it. I think that there will be a very very strong country that comes out of both the Middle East and Europe, maybe even Russia. And then of course the New World countries, um, though someone will come out on top over there. But I think Guangdong in terms of power is already so far ahead of everyone else. Not so much in terms of units, because they only have about the maximum amount of divisions as the rest of the top countries. Well, but with that fact really that they have, they're going to be pumping out divisions faster than most. So there you have it, my official bet is on Guangdong. Don't just bet on Guangdong though, because I'm betting on Guangdong. I probably won't even be right, but just, you know, I have predicted the future in the past very accurately. And uh, that just means, you know, you should probably listen to me because, you know, I'm pretty serious. But anyways, boys, let's get into this episode. There's a lot of stuff going on. And as you can see, a bunch of stuff has already happened while we're waiting here. So let's go check out kind of some important stuff while it's playing. All right, um, let's look through this list of peace deals because I'm not too sure what they are. This country has declared war on Mongolia. Uh, this country has declared war on Kabul. Mongolia took two states in a peace deal. And uh, Kizil Orda took four states. Wow, that was probably really bad. Um, and Yarkland took, or was annexed. So Yarkland was defeated. Mongolia has a strange disconnected piece of their land out here in what was Yarkland's. Tanatuva has actually declared war on Mongolia. And look at this, Tanatuva is actually not doing that bad. The Libyan desert annexed the Algerian desert, which is helping put an end to the conflicts in North Africa. Potikale is still frantically trying to defend themselves. They have cut off quite a few... Benelux divisions, but I don't think it's enough. I think Benelux is still going to eventually wrap this up Goyas has declared war on Amazonas. I think Amazonas has recently become the country that everyone's declaring war on down in South America Penza was annexed. Also Goyas annexed two states. Luga also took three states. This is what South America currently looks like still very divided um, but I do think that Iguaku if that's how you say that um, in gray is probably the strongest country so far. So I did just have a crash there, but um, I think I've gotten it back to where we were before. So both Kostamanu and Stravropol are, have declared war on Armenia. Whoa, look at that! Transcaucasian Federation totally just formed. That is really cool. <laughs> it is Stravropol no more. It is now the Transcaucasian Federation. Another, yet, uh, yet another formed nation. Wow, that one really caught me off guard. <laughs> So there are actually, just in this screen view right here, there are four formed nations. But anyways, what I was trying to say is both Kostamanu and now the Transcaucasian Federation are both invading Armenia. I know a lot of you guys were rooting for Armenia, but the thing about Armenia is the most units it had out was, I think, about four. And Kostamanu and Transcaucasian Federation are both at about 25 divisions right now. <laughs> I think maybe Abu Dhabi is also at war with Armenia. So rest in peace, Armenia. You did good. You survived for quite a long time. Longer than most at this point. Most, more than 50% of all the states have been annexed already. Also, right over here, Grand Kingdom of Serbia doing very good in its invasion of Cherkasy. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I apologize again. Bavaria, just like always, is getting its nose into places where it, where it maybe shouldn't be and is also invading Cherkasy. It always seems to declare war on countries that... <laughs> other people are ganging up on and then taking weird external parts and making them like weird colonies but hey man that's fine I don't judge oh look at the flag too it has a cool flag oh look at this Kostamanu declared war on Abu Dhabi man this is gonna be a battle of legends over here in the Middle East actually if Kostamanu or Abu Dhabi win they will be extremely close to being able to form Assyria Assyria all you need to own the only other thing that these two would need to own in order to form Assyria would be Baghdad, which is owned by Hamadan, and I think Jordan, but I'm not too sure. Now check this out. 
Costamano took three states, and the Transcaucasian Federation actually took four, and um, Abu Dhabi took one. So I think Costamano was actually the one that declared the war first. So Transcaucasian Federation actually took a quite a bit more than I thought they would. I thought that they would just mostly take the rest of the Coxes and maybe a little bit more, but they've taken quite a lot, quite a lot of states, more states than Costamano actually. The war in Iberia is starting to look like it's going to come to a close here, and we might even see the end of it this episode. The south is being closed up by Aragon. There's tons of pockets that are pocketing Garda's troops. The north is starting to be collected by Aragon. Aragon has almost reached Galatia already. We're about to witness the fall of Tunisia as well. Mongolia? Oh, Yarkland, we already saw this peace deal because that was before it crashed. And rest in peace, Tunisia, like I just said, they just did die. Libyan Desert and Casablanca both split them. Libyan Desert doing very good. A contender for a strong winner, possibly, in North Africa. Rest in peace, Turkesy. Bavaria got five states out of that. Wow. Out of just digging a tunnel into Turkesy through Serbia's lines. Bavaria got five states, but King of Serbia got nine. Bavaria has now declared war on the Croatian Federation. So Croatia may be the first formed nation to actually die. The Kingdom of Serbia also declared war on Vitebsk. I just looked it up actually and you say it, you say it Vitebsk. Alright, so the Kingdom of Serbia has declared war on Vitebsk. Pomerania is also invading Vitebsk in the west. So rest in peace Vitebsk. Serbia and Pomerania, two very strong countries in the European continent, both coming at you at the same time. Wow, uh, what a peace deal over in North America. Chihuahua was annexed, Guerrero took two states, and Alabama took one state. Alabama is almost the Confederate States of America, minus a couple states. Ghana has declared war in Senegal, so that war could be interesting to go check out. Ghana took two states, Sierra Leone was annexed. This is what Ghana looks like now. So very big, pretty strong for Africa. This region tends to get, this region tends to not get very much attention in this series. Transvassal and Southwest Africa are having the war of a lifetime over South Africa. The borders are disgusting. They both have armies still, and they're both refusing to continue. So this is what the borders look like. Obviously Transvassal is kind of winning, but it's still pretty cool to see. Oh, they just took a big portion, so now it's looking a little bit more like 50-50. So far, Croatia is actually not doing that bad. They've taken quite a lot of Austrian land from the Bavarians, and they're pretty close to the Bavarian capital. But I think the Bavarian army is still is still bigger and stronger, and eventually Croatia is going to get pushed back. Another peace deal down in South America. Kostamanu has made major gains against Abu Dhabi. Really starting to look like good old kebab now. The borders again refusing to stay similar. Garda has made a major pushback over in the state of Castile, but Aragon has made a major push up in the north to capture Galatia, as well as they're continuing their attack in the south. Oh, Amazonas was finally annexed. Rest in peace, you bastard. I was rooting for you for a little while there. Trinidad took most of it, three states. Look at this monster of a country over here. Ukayali has cut South America in half, and wow, these peace deals are just rolling in. Major peace deal between quite a lot of different Russian states, and the Transcaucasian Federation has declared war on Kabul. So, Transcaucasian Federation just keeps wanting to go into Asia further and further. 97 factories, by the way. Military factory. La Paz has declared war on Ukayali. So, I wonder if there will be... I wonder if there will be some sort of crusade against Ukayali for being so huge. So Republic of Benelux has actually lost a lot of divisions in their invasion over here. They keep getting encircled once they actually start taking land. Vladivostok was annexed, by the way. Rest in peace, Vladivostok. You had a really cool looking country for a little while there. But Padekale is doing a very good job with defending, holding them off for as long as they can. Hamadan has also declared war on Abu Dhabi. Transcaucasian Federation declared war on Kazil, Orda, and Kabul was annexed. Rest in peace, Kabul. Okay, huge peace deal over here with Vitebsk. Pomerania took 10 states. Serbia took 6 states. So Pomerania just got the thickest font I think anyone has right now. Finally, the Serbians have declared war on Ipirus. Hopefully, they're gonna... I guess they want to try to unite the Balkans as fast as they can here. Ipirus might be tough. Actually, Ipirus does not have very many divisions. I would have said if Ipirus actually had a lot of divisions just sitting on the border, defending on the mountains, it might be kind of hard for Serbia to take them. The war down here is done. Southwest Africa finally 
has a victory. Svealand and Pomerania are starting to destroy the country that was Denmark. They were winning up in Norway and were actually starting to beat back Svealand. But once Pomerania attacked, I think it all went I think it all went downhill. Svealand has taken the core of Denmark and Pomerania is now invading what German land they hold. So they'll be capitulating here fairly soon. There's a lot of action going on down there in Aragon and Guarda right now. Ecuador was just annexed, so Ukayali and uh, Honduras. Honduras now basically controls all of Colombia, where, whereas Ukayali got a lot of Ecuador and other places. Could this be the attack, the final push that the Benelux has been waiting for? They've actually advanced farther than they were before, and instead of all of their troops getting encircled, they've encircled three groups of Padecale's troops. Their front line looks pretty stable, and it looks like they're going to be killing off some of these French divisions. So I was just about to announce that I think Pomerania had the largest army with 32 divisions. That's the most I had seen. But I just checked one other country first. Let's check in on how many divisions Serbia has. Serbia, oh, looks like a lot, huh? Serbia has 85 divisions, 161 military factories. That is so much more than Guangdong over in China. <laughs> We may have been looking at the winner all along without even noticing it. Also, this does finally appear to be the end of Guarda. A lot of their troops look like they've died off. And in the center, a lot of Aragon's troops are just freely walking through. Although Costamanu, 41 divisions, very strong. Transcaucasian Federation, 29 divisions, very strong as well. 29 divisions for this Ukrainian nation. Tanatuba annexed Mongolia. Rest in peace. The Mongolian Empire has been dismantled, finally. And now it's at war with this guy over here. But anyways, boys, this is where we're going to have to leave it for today. Thank you for watching this episode. If you have liked this, make sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys are new. We're really starting to see who's going to pull through and who is going to lag behind at this point. In Africa, we might see the Libyan Desert take over all of North Africa. In North America, Alabama, Northeastern Canada, Virginia, they're all doing very well. In Europe, obviously Serbia, Pomerania, the Benelux, Aragon, any of these guys really could end up taking over all of Europe. In Asia, Tanatuba even now is doing well. Manchuria and Guangdong are all doing very good. But we, ladies and gentlemen, are just going to have to wait and find out. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this episode, make sure to hit like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys are new. We are almost at 20,000 subs, so make sure you hit subscribe. Now, thanks to you all for watching. If you like this, make sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Peace.